welcome to my new video. Today I will show you some more example on the topic sum and product of quadratic equation. Sum and product of roots of quadratic equation. So we learn what is sum of quadratic equation if uh, the quadratic given quadratic equation have two roots alpha and beta then alpha plus beta is minus b by a if the equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c so sum is alpha plus beta is minus b by a and alpha beta is given by c by a a b and c so this we already learned. Now we proceed some more complicated example regarding this topic. So first question is, question is find the equation whose roots are 2 comma 5. They given the value of alpha beta we need to form a quadratic equation. So for that we also learned in my previous video in part 1 that if we have two roots the equation will be formed with this x square minus sum of root times x plus product of roots equal to 0. So, if our alpha is 2, beta is 5. So, alpha plus beta sum of root is 2 plus 5 equal to 7. Alpha beta is the product of roots. It is 2 times 5 is 10. So, our equation become x square minus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. So this is the solution for given question. It means they have, if they given some kind of roots, you can substitute here sum and product of roots, you will definitely get the quadratic equation. Next example is the roots of equation x square plus px plus q equal to 0 are alpha and 4 alpha. So the Second root is 4 times of first root means alpha and 4 alpha. Then show that 4p square is 25q where p and q given in the equation. So step 1 first if your equation is not in the form of ax square plus bx plus c you have to convert in that form. Second step you need to find compare with ax square bx and c you need to find a b c. So what is a is 1. B is P and C is Q. So what is my alpha plus beta? Beta is my 4 alpha. So alpha plus 4 alpha sum of root is minus B by A. So here B is minus P by 1. It means alpha plus 4 alpha is 5 alpha. So 5, sorry, 5 alpha is given by minus of P. Second is product of root alpha times 4 alpha is equal to C by A. C is Q, A is 1. So, it given by 4 alpha square is Q. Clear? Now, we need to find one relation between P and Q. So, from here we can use these both equations from here. We, if we find the value of P from this, P is Ma, sorry, value of Q, value of alpha is minus P by 5. Substitute here 4 times minus P by 5 at the place of alpha is square equal to Q. Clear? At the place of alpha, we put the value alpha equal to minus P by 5. So, squaring 4 minus minus plus P square square of 5 is 25 equal to q. See, we can get the result 4p square equal to this go this side 25q. So, they will give any form of proving you can easily solve with the help of alpha plus beta and alpha beta if you know how to proceed. So, first compare a, b, c form alpha plus beta and alpha beta and then see what we need to show. Proceed another example. If root of the equation 3x square minus 3kx plus k minus 6 equal to 0 are alpha beta and given if alpha square plus beta square is 20 by 3 find the value of k where k is constant which is unknown we need to find this k. So same process 
compare our given equation with ax square plus bx plus c and write down what is our a b c so a is 3 b is minus 3k and c is the constant is this k minus 6 next step product and sum of given roots first root is alpha second is beta so product is minus b by a so minus of minus 3k by 3 it gives k so alpha plus beta is k alpha beta alpha beta is c by a so k minus 6 by 3 clear when alpha beta and alpha plus beta come already now Next step, we need to see what they given. Given alpha square plus beta square have some value. So, we already learned what is alpha square and beta square. If we convert into whole square, it becomes alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. How? If I open this is alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta and minus 2 alpha beta. So, for this term, if we add 1 to alpha beta and subtract 2 alpha beta, this become whole square of this minus 2 alpha beta. So, you need to remember directly what is alpha square plus beta square is alpha beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Now, we have both the values in terms of k. Substitute here. So, this value is 20 by 3 equal to alpha plus beta is k square is k square minus 2 times alpha beta is k minus 6 by 3 clear now that's all simple you need to solve this equation this is c k square is quadratic equation find the values of k if we took the lcm 20 by 3 equal to 3 3 k square minus 2 k minus minus plus 12 3 3 cancel Again, rewrite the equation. So, this become 3k square minus 2k plus 12 minus 20 equal to 0. Clear? So, from there we can say 3k square minus 2k minus 8 equal to 0. Now, using cross method to find the roots. 3k by k is 3k square. This is minus 8. This is minus 2k. So, factor of 8 is 1, 8, 2, 4. Clear? We need 2k. So, if we put 2 and 4. See, 3 times 2 is 6k minus 4k is 2k. We need negative. So, if we put negative here, see, k is 4k minus of 6k. So, it gives negative 2. So, your answer should be factorization of this is 3k plus 4 and k minus 2 equal to 0. So, from first bracket, we can say what is our k? k is minus 4 by 3. From second, we can say k is 2. So, there are two possible values of k here. First is minus 4 by 3, second is 2. So, this is the process how to proceed different different types of uh, questions with the help of sum and product of your uh, given quadratic equation. One more example I will show you. Question is if the given equation x square minus 3x minus 2 equal to 0 have roots alpha and beta and there is another given equation, roots of given equation x square minus 6x plus p equal to 0 are k by alpha, k by beta. If this equation have alpha, beta, this is k by alpha. Where p and k both are constant, find the value of p and k. So, same process using first equation, find the value of sum and product. So, alpha plus beta is minus b by a b is 3 minus of minus 3 a is 1 only alpha beta is c by a c is minus 2 so alpha plus beta is 3 alpha beta is 2 now 
taking second equation. What is second equation? If roots are k by alpha plus k by beta, sum of root, where now minus b by a, so minus b is minus of minus 6 by a is 1, so it's 6. Then simplify it, if we take k, k beta plus k alpha equal to 6 by 1. Or we can write k alpha plus beta upon alpha beta is 6 by 1. Now we have both the values alpha beta and alpha plus beta. Substitute here. It will become alpha plus beta is 3k. Alpha beta is minus 2 equal to 6 by 1. So we can say 3k is minus of 12 k is minus of 4. So, first we solve the value of k. For second, using the product, this is sum. Similarly, product of this is k by alpha times k by beta equal to c by a. So, c is p. So, it's p by 1. So, it's given k square by alpha beta is p by 1 k square by alpha beta. We already have value of k here. k is minus 4 square upon alpha beta. Alpha beta is minus 2. So, minus 2 equal to p. Minus 4 square is minus 4 times minus 4 become plus 16 divided by minus 2 is p. So, when we divide, it becomes p equal to negative of 8. That's all for this question. They ask about two constant, k and p, we already done. k is minus 4, p is minus 8. So, there are many types of problems, but you can easily solve with the help of sum and product. And whatever the given uh, information, you can use that and solve it till the end. That's all for this type of problem. Thank you very much.